Everybody, how are you doing? The Shiba Inu land, your home for your crypto fix, would like to extend a warm welcome to you. You can call me Ripple Van Winkle, your host. I really hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. The day is Saturday. The weekend has arrived. What could possibly be more superior to that? I simply cannot wait. This day is going to be the best day of your life. It is 12 o'clock on an auction for Lux Lines, so pay attention. After a half an hour at 12 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern Time, you should make sure that you show up even if you are not going to be there. Amazing is the word. Come in and take in the ambience even if you have no intention of purchasing anything. The object is something that you have never witnessed before. Following that, I will be gathering my belongings and making my way to Dave and Buster's, where I will be meeting up with a group of three or four other couples. It is going to be a wonderful experience. Get into the mindset of a little child who is having fun in the game room. There will be various competitions, and I will most likely have a couple of drinks. Not at all? I mean, what could possibly be more desirable than that? We'll see how things turn out after that, and then we'll have a nightcap. On the other hand, we are planning to go to Cooper's Hawk, participate in a limited wine tasting, and then have supper. This is how the Saturday is going to go. Then on Sunday, there was nothing except lounging around. I simply cannot wait. However, in this episode, members of the audience, we are going to discuss the cryptocurrency markets, where we are heading, and probable targets. In the event that you did not see the live broadcast that I did yesterday, I do not do live streams very frequently. We carried out a live broadcast of Keith. We did a lot of digging into it. I would say that it was somewhere between an hour and a half and an hour and a half and an hour and 45 minutes. We discussed XRP for a while. We discussed the goals as well as the direction it is heading. It was Bitcoin that we discussed. At the very end, we even conducted some questions and answers. Flare and HBAR were performed by us. Do you know what else we did? We discussed something else as well. Change, reposition, and render. To provide you with a comprehensive picture of the direction in which this cycle is likely to lead us, we discussed a wide range of cryptocurrencies. Both the XLM targets and the HBAR targets are going to be favorites of yours. HBAR is going to be discussed by me. In fact, I have a chart that Keith emailed over that I have pulled up. In addition to discussing it, we are going to go over it. Ripple and Swift are going to be the topics of our next conversation. Folks, is Taylor Swift on the verge of becoming Ripple? This is a fascinating topic. Directly in front of our very eyes, a really interesting clip has come together perfectly. It is necessary for us to examine it. Without further ado, what do you think about the idea of diving right in? The price of Bitcoin is $51,242. It has increased by approximately 1% during the course of the last 24 hours. The price of Ethereum has increased by 1.71%, reaching $2,966. The USDT and USDC are both pursuing dollar pegs as their goals. XRP, on the other hand, is a mean and lean $0.54. Over the course of the last 24 hours, it has increased by 2.06%. There is a total market valuation of $1,982 billion for cryptocurrencies. It is important to keep in mind that the monthly closing that I am looking for for the month of February is above $48.5 for Bitcoin and above a market valuation of $2 trillion. According to Keith, it is actually the closing of the quarter, which means that the closure of the following month is the more significant one that we need to pay attention to as long as the total value of the cryptocurrency market is greater than $1.75 trillion and Bitcoin continues to be valued at more than $48.5, we are in a very good position. Based on his projections, he believes that this bull run will continue all the way until the year 2025. It is not going to be a crazy path up that we are going to shoot up, according to how he views it and how I views it and how I viewed it. Additionally, I make this point known on both this channel and my Twitter profile. This is how the situation unfolds. An action, a significant action, will be taken by Bitcoin. It is possible that we have already witnessed it. It's possible that we'll get a little bit more pressure before we have. There are fewer than two months left till we have. The cryptocurrency markets are going to have a decrease at that moment when it does occur, right? That is what we are going to see that happens. It is going to make people feel miserable. There is a good chance that a lot of people will believe that was the bull run. Those individuals are going to be yelling and screaming, kicking all the way out, 
and claiming that Bitcoin has never broken its all-time high yet again. Why is this even possible? And then, following that, the timeline is Q3 and Q4. Again, the markets are going to experience a surge in activity. Bitcoin, we might just be looking for it. It is feasible, according to Keith, to get all the way from 150 to 175 points. It is also feasible to experience a parabolic blow-off peak inside the markets, which would take place if the market cap of cryptocurrencies reached between 10 and 12 trillion dollars. This would be an incredible event. However, get ready. As a result, this year is going to play out in that manner. Perhaps there will be one more brief run before there is a slight decrease in price once these things have been done. Furthermore, the price is going to go back up after that. There is a good chance that Bitcoin will reach its all-time high. Then you are familiar with the tale. In addition to Ethereum, alternative cryptocurrencies are likely to be utilized as well. Right now, in case you missed the live feed, I will now present the live stream to you. This live stream was attended by more than 200 individuals yesterday. At that moment, it was 1 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time. There you have it. It is currently 1 hour and 48 minutes. Currently, it may be found on my channel on YouTube. Proceed to give it a listen. You should go and watch it. We did a thorough analysis on XRP. We discussed its long-term position as well as its trajectory for the future. We looked at it on the daily, the 50 moving average, the 200 moving average, and a falling pivot that it is under because XRP might be seeing a small bit of a correction at this point. A decrease of 50 cents would be equivalent to a decrease of 45 cents. On the other hand, he is of the opinion that that will be purchased very rapidly. Things that you are going to hear are going to be news that is extremely, extremely true. It is not going to be possible for you to get price forecasts for $100, but you will be able to identify the sweet spot for XRP and find that sweet spot. I had been preaching all the way up till 650. To all appearances, it is going to take place. Is it possible for us to achieve a parabolic blow off top that goes significantly higher than that? 100% all of you. It is time for the auction. That was put out by my man JDK. In addition, the individual claims that I had been anticipating this auction for the entire month. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you there. Take a look at these incredible specimens. What a king that is. We have a queen here. I'm talking about the pixel parts, the custom mob, and the 80s mob components. Both of these are worth two points each. When you complete each and every one of these, you will receive XRP back. Please take a look at this chart that he has created for HBAR. Following this move, he is assuming that this zone, which is approximately 12 to 12 and a half cents, give or take, we'll say 13 cents, is going to be a very difficult place for HBAR to break through. It is reasonable to anticipate that this matter will undergo yet another retracement. Was it possible for it to return to 9 cents? Consequently, if you are seeking for opportunities to make purchases, you should keep a watch on such levels. 13 cents because there is... A possibility that we are witnessing a correction. Despite the fact that I am a holder of HBAR, I have not even bothered to glance at it this morning. In a way, I just sat there and forgot about it. Take a look. The time is 10 minutes past 8. One might observe a slight decrease in the current situation. Therefore, if you are considering re-entering the HBAR market, it is possible that there will be a slight decline to approximately 9 cents before the market continues to go forward. HBAR according to Keith, has the potential to earn anywhere from $1 to $3 per cycle. Unbelievable. Take, for example, a cryptocurrency that costs 10 cents. 